What is up ladies and genitals? Four eyes in here, coming at ya, coming through, and I hope you're doing well today. We are going to talk about what are the best score streaks to use in Black Ops Cold War. Again, this is just my opinion. Everything is subjective. When I make these types of videos, it all depends on your playstyle, so you might rank them differently. There will be three tiers, tier three being bad compared to the other streaks, two being pretty good, and one being the best of the best. I will be starting off with the combat bow and ending with the gunship. Shout out to Fia for giving me the idea for this video. So without further ado, let's get started with the best score streaks in Black Ops Cold war so starting off with the combat bow i placed this in the second tier you only need 500 points to get the streak and it has a cooldown of 120 seconds or two minutes which is quite long but for only 500 points that's actually pretty good you get five shots and it disappears if you die i still think it's actually quite good because you could potentially get five kills with this maybe even more if people are pumped up and every single kill you get with this continues your streak so you will get even more score score if you extend it. The only downsides to the streak is the 2 minute cooldown but for 500 points that's not too bad. This streak does take a bit of skill though but if you can aim and stay alive it's actually a decent streak. Next is the RCXD and I rank this as a tier 3 score streak. You can acquire it after 800 points and has a 90 second cooldown which is not bad since it's only 800 points. You get to use a remote control car with explosives attached to it. If you suck at Rocket League or driving, don't use this score streak. It's pretty loud and people can shoot it to blow it up early. So there is a potential of you not getting any kills. However, it can also team wipe a whole team if they're bunched up and it's quite fun. You can also blow up other score streaks like the sentry gun, which we will be talking about later and people with flak jacket. It does take you out of the game so find a safe place to use it. But overall, I don't think it's that great unless you want and explore the not so secret nuketown racetrack next we have the spy plane and i rank this as a tier 2 streak borderline tier 1 you can acquire it at a thousand points with a 90 second cooldown it pretty much reveals your enemies on the radar with a red dot or whatever your colorblind settings are it's honestly one of the most useful streaks especially for your team if you want to win more games start rocking the spy plane especially if you don't think you will get any kills with the lethal score streaks it can get shot with two rockets so watch out for that it's not a score streak that can take a lot of hits when getting shot at. It can also get countered by people using ghosts, jammers, and our next score streak, which is the counter spy plane. I rank this as a tier 2, borderline tier 1. You can acquire it after 1200 points. This basically blocks the radar, so if you fire a unsuppressed gun, or if there's a spy plane up, it prevents your position from being exposed. It also counters the harp and people using the field mic. I like the counter spy plane, especially in the high your skill brackets it kind of throws people off yeah overall i think it's a great streak it does get shot down easily just like this by plane next we have body armor and i rank this as a tier 3 streak you can acquire this at 1600 points with 120 second cooldown maybe because i play on the higher skill brackets that i don't really get a lot of use using the armor because one nade pretty much blows it all off if you get headshotted it goes through the armor and i have been too bursted by a m16 before i really don't think the score streak is good unless you are going against really bad players i guess this could potentially save your life but for the amount of score you need even though it only costs 1600 it does take two minutes to get this and personally i don't really think it's a good streak but maybe it's useful to you let me know try it out and tell me your opinion on it next is the sentry gun and i rank it as a tier 3 streak you can acquire it at 1800 points with a 60 second cooldown i actually really like this streak especially if you have a trophy system for the amount of points you need and at that 60 second cooldown this could have easily been a tier 2 streak or even a tier 1 streak but if I am being objective, this thing just dies and gets blown up way too easily. It only takes one nade to kill the sentry gun. And more often than not, this thing gets blown up. If you're really lucky, the streak has so much potential to get a lot of kills, but its durability is really bad and it gets countered by cold-blooded, but realistically, no one uses cold-blooded. It's just the nades and the RCXD can blow this up. If you really like the sentry gun, I recommend you throw a trophy system right next to it once you deploy it, and it could save it and extend its life. 
Next is the care package and depending on your luck this could be a tier 1 streak but it's a tier 3 streak to me. You can acquire this at 2000 points and the 90 second cooldown. Personally to me this should have a 30 second to 0 second cooldown since you have to chuck it and wait for your package to drop. There is also a chance people can shoot down your helicopter before you get your package and you will get nothing. The problem with the care package is it's totally random. You don't know if you're going to get a streak that takes less points like a spy plane or you might get the highest streak like the gunship. There is just too much randomness for me to recommend the score streak but it is a lot of fun. Next we have the napalm strike and I'm going to put this as a tier 1 streak. It costs 2500 points with the 30 second cooldown. I was going to put this at a tier 2 because it did get nerfed but it wasn't too bad. If you are in a wide open map like cartel or nuketown this thing goes to work. I have personally seen this streak wipe out entire teams on combined arms mode and it is crazy. It also only has a 30 second and cool down so you can get multiple napalm strikes depending on how good you are. I really like the streak. I think for the amount of points and the cooldown on this thing, it definitely deserves a tier 1 spot. I like using this, especially in the higher skill brackets. You can save objectives from being captured or you could just push the team back into their spawn. It's really good. Next we have the air patrol and I ranked this a tier 2 and you can acquire it at 2700 points with a 0 second cooldown. I really don't know how good this is because if enemy team has no air streaks there's really no point to use this but if they have a lot of them this thing goes ham that's really all i have to say about it it's really good when you and your team is getting destroyed but it only applies to air streaks if you are dominating a team there really is no reason for you to use this next is the artillery strike and i rank it as a tier 1 streak you can acquire it at 3000 points with a cooldown of 30 seconds it's like a lightning strike from black ops 2 if you play a lot of objective based game modes this is a go to especially if it's a wide open map as a 30 second cooldown and you get to place it in multiple areas i like to use this with the combination of the napalm strike and you pretty much can spam your streaks if you can get them next we have the tom cruise missile and i rank this in a tier 2 spot and it can be acquired at 3500 points or 3500 with a 90 second cooldown i think the napalm strike and artillery strike are much better alternatives than the tom cruise missile they take less points and have shorter cooldowns Cooldowns, you do have more control over the cruise missile which does make it a bit more consistent also if you didn't know you can actually shoot a cruise missile with your gun and it will explode like you could shoot it down with a pistol and I'm not memeing right now you really can so if you're watching this and you're like I just accept death whenever a cruise missile is called in don't accept death look up at the sky and shoot it because you can it might even save your life not a lot of people know this since I see a lot of people accept death next is the war machine and I rank this as a tier 1 you can acquire this at 4000 points with a 60 second cooldown personally to me this is the best score streak in the game however it does take skill and it does have counters one hard counter is the trophy system not only can it blow up your projectile it can also hurt you flak jacket is a soft counter since if you get a direct impact or if they are really close to the explosion they will still die it has 12 rounds so you could potentially kill 12 people maybe even more if they are clumped up you also aren't taken out of the match when you call it in you can run around and kill people but the most important part of the war machine is that kills with this adds to your streak as if you got kills with your gun just like the combat bow allowing you to get even more points and it's only a 60 second cooldown at 4000 points that's some insane value next is the attack helicopter and i rank it as a tier 2 borderline a tier 3 and you can acquire it at 5000 points with a 60 second cooldown the reason why i said borderline a tier 3 is because it's the durability this thing is extremely weak and can get shot down easily the benefits of the attack helicopter is you don't have to manually control it you just call it in and you get to move around and get more kills with your gun this means sometimes your attack helicopter can get you a lot of kills and sometimes you will get none depending on how skilled your opponents are and they can also hide in buildings to avoid it or they will just run around and keep getting killed without shooting it down next is the harp and i rank this a tier 2 streak and you can acquire it at 6000 points with a 60 second cooldown i would have ranked this a tier one but it has a lot of counters right now and it's actually broken in hardcore if you call the streak in in hardcore without a spy plane already up it's not going to show you the map and is basically useless the harp is a advanced uav blackbird vsat it shows you all your enemies on the radar with what position they are facing they look like doritos or triangles on your map it does get countered by counter spy plane jammers 
and the air patrol so yes it can still be shot down next is the VTOL escort and I rank it as a tier 2 you can acquire it at 7000 points with a 90 second cooldown it's really hard for me to recommend the last three score streaks because there is insane spawn protection in this game compared to the older call of duties but I think the VTOL escort is a good streak you can control it and you can shoot rockets and the machine gun that does a lot of damage I will say it does take the most skill to use out of the last three streaks you can fly higher or lower move left and right to dodge rockets so you have a lot of control over the streak it can get shot down fairly easily if the enemy team focuses on you so you are going to need to dodge them next is the chopper gunner and it is a tier 2 streak you can acquire it at 8000 points with a 60 second cooldown like i said the last three streaks have crazy killing potential but the spawn protection is really strong and sometimes the red highlights are really hard to see and almost invisible the chopper gunner melts people but it does get shot down quite easily if everyone focuses you the maximum amount of kills i've gotten with a chopper gunner was like eight compared to previous games where you would get like 15 kills plus the last three streaks just because they are like so high in points like 7,000, 8,000, and 10,000, they are just not worth it especially because of the spawn protection in this game finally we have the gunship but before i talk about it let's see a quick montage featuring chris move <laughs> Who cares about internet, cuh? I need this commission, cuh. I don't care about your commission. I'm on a mission to make it splash. Mr. Splash Man, I make it splash, man. Mr. Splash Man, I make it splash, man. Mr. Splash Man, I make it splash, man. I make it splash, man. I make it splash, man. You can acquire the gunship at 1000 points with a 90 second cooldown. I think the gunship AC 130 or the Ass Clapper 130 is a really good streak. I want to rank it at a tier 1, especially after that amazing montage. But to be honest with you, it's a tier 2 streak. You are not going to get the top 3 streaks every game. And even if you do, the spawn protection is just way too strong. This thing is also a tank when people are trying to shoot you down. You will get flares with this and it actually takes a while for them to shoot down the gunship even if they focus you. The spawn protection again is just way too strong especially for the higher point total streaks and the tier 1 streaks like the war machine, napalm strike and artillery strike will often get you more kills and points plus you can get them more often. That is my thoughts on the best streaks in the game. Comment below whether you agree or disagree with my list. Again, this is just my opinion. I will reply to as many of you. Other than that, namaste my friends and I will talk to you next time.